Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. As promised, we have a hobby box of Topps Heritage Baseball. Now this product goes a long way back for me. This is the one that kind of got me into card collecting and cards in general. And it's in addition to the series one back in, I think 2021 was when I really got into the uh, hobby. Uh, so I'm very, very excited to open this up today. This is my first time opening up a hobby box of Topps Heritage. Uh, when I first got into card collecting, I picked up a lot of hangers for my local like Target and Walmart, but we're here full circle with a Topps Heritage Hobby Box. Now what we're looking for today, Topps Heritage runs a little bit differently than some other products. Typically the last 100 cards in a set are considered short prints for Topps Heritage Hobby, or Topps Heritage in general rather. However, for this year, the first 100 cards are considered short prints, except on my checklist here, number 82 and number 407. So 82 is not a short print, but number 407 in the checklist will be a short print. So we're gonna be looking for those absolutely with this video. And then we're gonna have different image variations and maybe some parallels. Um, if there is an image variation or maybe like a white border card that's new to this year, um, if you flip the cards over, it will tell you around the middle left of the card. So basically, we're gonna get through this product, but we are going to take our time and look at the back of every card as uh, we open up each pack to make sure we're not missing anything. Now with the Topps Heritage Hobby, we are guaranteed either an autograph or relic card in every box. So we'll be looking forward to that. And then additionally, it's upside down, but uh, the top Heritage this year has the 1975 design. It's really, really cool in my uh, opinion. And then, oh my, that is close to the camera. But we have 24 packs and nine cards per pack. This is gonna take some time. So without further ado, let's get right into this. I am very excited. Oh, let's go, we got it the first time. This box came at the beginning of the week. It is now toward the end of the week. So I'm excited just to dive right in. We will get a box topper. That's the last thing I wanted to say. Um, it's either a card, an original 1975 Topps card, or it's an oversized box topper. Both are technically considered hits, if you will. We get the oversized box topper, John Montefusco from the Giants. Not too shabby. I was kind of hoping for the buyback 1975 card, uh, but we will take this for sure. So let's just get these packs out of here and then get all organized oh sorry camera get all organized on the screen so we got stack one stack two stack three and stack four maybe we do something like this with the packs on top put our hits along here and then our box topper will go right under my camera here all right now we're nice and organized kind of i wish it would be slightly better but that's just a me thing but without further ado let's get ripping into these packs i know this product has been out for a little over a week now so we don't have to spend too much time on it but this is the first time on my channel that i'm reviewing tops heritage so the first few packs we'll definitely take our time with cubs rookie jordan wicks is going to lead us off just make sure everything's in focus and it is garrett mitchell we will notice that every card has an autograph printed on if it doesn't odds are it's a short print or of course if it's not in black ink odds are it's a real autograph on that card Kyle Harrison for the Giants, Corey Seager All-Star card for the Rangers, Zach Geloff rookie card. We have a 2019 Most Valuable Players little throwback here with Shroudy and Belly. DL Hall, we have our first backwards card, and it's going to be a 23 highlights insert card of Clayton Kershaw's 200th win, and then Marco Luciano to round out this pack. Very good pack, strong pack. So what we're looking for here are the numbers. Again, the first 100 cards are short print besides number 82. And then if there's anything different about the card, like say it's a photo variation, it will also say in this rectangle. So here I'll go a little slow, but as we progress in the video, we'll definitely lock this down and get that going quite uh, quickly. But time is a going and we have many packs. I'm always hoping for the autograph over the relic, so I'm excited to see what our hit uh, may be here. Orlando Arcia, Bo Bichette, Ahmed Rosario, Dane Dunning, White Sox legend, Jerome, Josh Young, that's a great card to have. Colin Selby, Alex Verdugo in his Yankees uniform, still rocking the beard. I love that personally. Just like the oxymoron of this happening, you know, the juxtaposition of it. Uh, Geraldo Perdoma, quickly look at the back of the cards here. 
just to make sure we're not missing any short prints. Typically, um, if it's a short print, it will be turned uh, around in the pack. It'll be backwards in each pack. But just in case we're not missing any photo variations as well, we want to check the numbers. All right, uh, 1986, most valuable player. So we got Clemens and Schmidt leading this off. Hey, y'all know Luis Robert Jr., huge White Sox fan. I personally collect Luis Robert Jr. Is it a base card? Yes. Are we sleeving it? Absolutely. Next question, please. Let's go. This just this picture is amazing. I love it. So let's put Luis right here on frame here and then continue opening up our pack. I'm happy. That was my hit, you know? <laughs> Max Meyer, Whit Merrifield, uh, Brent Rooker, uh, CJ Abrams. Uh, ooh, that one came out of nowhere. Mookie Betts out of 999. It's numbered 632 if my camera wants to focus. There we go. Mookie Betts, National League All-Star. Chrome card, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check the checklist on what's out of 999 here. And this is, it's not on my checklist. I want to say this is just the Chrome. This is the Topps Heritage Chrome uh, Parallel out of 999. Yes, there it is on my checklist. So we got the Chrome Parallel of Mookie Betts. This is a hit we will absolutely take. I mean, it's Mookie Betts. Odds are he is the favorite, an early favorite, for the National League MVP award for this year. Holy cow, Luis Robert and Mookie uh, Chrome in the same pack? We are thriving, everyone. We are thriving. A uh, new age performers, Paul Goldschmidt, and then Andrew Heaney. Very quickly, just seeing if we have any. Oh, we do. So right here, if you can see, this is why we check, everyone. There's that we have an image variation of C. J. Abrams. Holy cow. So it's not a short print in terms of numbered one to a hundred, but we have an image variation if my camera wants to focus one more time there we go it can you can kind of make out the word image over 446 this is all in the same pack holy cow all right well this is already off to a fantastic start i'm excited as you can probably tell i've never opened up a, a hobby box of heritage before so this is although i've seen many many people and some of my favorite creators open up these boxes I personally have it, so, you know, the little kid and card collector in me is coming out, and I'm just pumped. All right, Andrew Abbott to kick us off here. Rookie card gold cup, uh, double up there. 20, 2005 most valuable players. We all know how the 2005 season ended, especially us White Sox fans. Six, 1967 most valuable players. Freddie Freeman, Angel Felipe, Yogi Berra. Uh, Jacob deGrom and then number 24. So this is a short print of Mr. Gunnar Henderson There we go. I know it's a sophomore year card, but a short print whoops a short print is a short print Especially one of the Orioles. They are my favorites. Oh my I don't want to rip that corner They are my favorites for the uh, World Series this year for the American League Gunnar Henderson tw card number 24 in the checklist and he is a short print. And then Jose Quas to round out this pack. Once again, do our due diligence. Make sure we're not missing any other short prints or variations on our cards. And if I miss any photo variations, short prints, all that fun stuff, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you're already there, if you like this video, feel free to drop a thumbs up. Hit that nice red subscribe button. More and more card videos are coming your way. Uh, this is only the beginning and I'm excited. Catal Marte is going to lead off this pack. Jose Tenya, Brian De La Cruz, Brandon Marsh, Oscar Coca-Colas, uh, Jonathan Ornelas, World Series 2023, uh, Jorge Soler, and J.D. Martinez will be this. Oh, we just keep going. So the Jorge Soler is the white border. Ah, so you see the white border around his face. So that is another little variation. I want to say, let me pull out that checklist one more time. The white border is one in every 12 hobby packs. So odds are we could see one more in this hobby box, but one out of every 12 hobby packs will get you a white 
border card very very cool stuff and we got solar power solar power if you will i'm running out of room on my desk here because we have so many packs but we have one more so i'm gonna put this right on here slide these over and then put solaire on our screen right here they're a little crooked at the bottom here we're we're doing our best okay all right double checking the rest of the cards make sure we're not missing anything but i don't know it's, it's very fun it's like easter eggs within easter eggs within easter eggs with this product and that that keeps it very exciting especially for a product that's more known for being like a set completionist uh type of product that if you want to build a set this one is for you all right, 2016 Most Valuable Players. Trout, you know he's going to pop up a lot. Luis Matos, 99 Most Valuable Players. That's my birth year. All right, Nick Allen, Jeremy Pena, Will Smith. Uh, ooh, Ron Guidry's MLB debut. Insert card, and then Seth Lugo to round out this pack. Don't think we have any variations here, but we will do our due diligence as per usual. All right, one stack of packs down, three more to go, and our screen is already filled with good stuff, so it can only go up. It can only get better. Ooh, I see a little blue on the back here. We'll see what that is in a moment. All right, Jeff McNeil for the Mets, Seiya Suzuki, Tyler Soderstrom, uh, 2009 MVPs. Cardinals, Jose Fermin, Dodgers, Shohei Otani in his Dodgers uniform, Astros, Hunter Brown, and then our backwards card is number 56, so our Joey Weimer is another short print. Uh, very, very cool stuff. Again, sophomore card, just like uh, Gunnar Henderson. Not too shabby for Joey Weiner. We'll put him over here. You can kind of see him, but he's there. He's there. And then Casey Schmidt to finish up this pack. Let's go through the back of the cards real quick. All right, no variations here to write home about. Let's keep moving along. All right. We have Reese Olsen kicking off this pack. And then we have batting leader averages with Diaz and Arise. Mookie Betts. So we have his chrome right here. And then we have uh, the base, Mookie Betts. Uh, Walker Bueller, Sal Freelick rookie card, Spencer Horwitz rookie card, Drew Waters, uh, Junior Caminero, and this should also be, there we go, a white border variation. Based upon the odds, you can probably get around two per hobby box. Our first one being Mr. Jorge Soler, our second one being Caminero. Let's go. White border variation. So yeah, first I thought this one was the black border, just because the Marlins right here, but it's talking about this white border. But there is a black border variation. Both of these are the white borders. Running out of room here. I'm gonna move John to the side. No disrespect, John, but we have a lot to show off here. And then Clay Holmes, but once, we'll go, once again, let's just check to make sure we didn't miss anything else in this pack. All right, whoops, all right, cool beans. And then, of course, you see me sleeving up cards as we go. Any rookie card, well, notable rookie cards, any other cards that I haven't sleeved that you're like, whoa, 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 Ashley, I will get them sleeved, if not top-loaded, uh, at the end of the video. But just for time's sake, try to only save it for these special ones here. 2015 MVPs, Pete Alonso, Alec Thomas, Emmanuel Valdez, Hernandez, a uh, new age performer, Zach Greinke insert card, and then Cubs, we got Hayden there. And then just checking the back, and we are good to continue. For those of you who like Topps Heritage, what has been your favorite year of Topps Heritage? I might be, you know, recency biased, but I really do enjoy the 1975 design. We got the AL Champs card to start off this pack. Corbin Carroll with the Rookie Cup. Wade Meckler, Ezekiel Tovar. Kyle Schwarber, JP Sears, Ronnie Mauricio. We have another short print card of Mauricio Dubon. That's a cool one to have. And then Junior Caminero, uh, his normal uh, card, if you will. And that is a rookie card. So Mauricio Dubon, let's get him sleeved up. He is a short print. And we're kind of running out of room on the table here. So we'll just move him to the side where our John card is. And then once again, just make sure we're checking the backs of these cards. This video will probably be a longer one, but you know what? It's honestly kind of worth it. We are almost at the halfway point, so I appreciate you all sticking around. I, I really hope y'all are having as much fun as I'm currently having right now. 
uh, Bobby Miller, uh, Robert Garcia. Ooh, we got a little sh uh, throwback red here. Spencer Torkelson, Lawrence Butler rookie card, Will Benson, Andrew Benin chicken tendies, 75 MVPs, and then we have a base card to round us out. So nothing too out of the ordinary here. And we will continue. I'm still, because this is the white border, this says white border. It says white border on this card. I'm not lying. I just would assume this is the black border. This is the white border just compared to how we pulled the Caminero's uh, card earlier. But either way, we are good. All right. After this pack, we are officially at the halfway point. These packs are just fun to open, too. It's kind of allowed, so I apologize. But I don't know. I'm not a big, like, ASMR person. But I do enjoy the sound of packs being ripped open. Uh, Matthew Libertor, Dominic Fletcher, White Sox legend. Nolan Gorman, Jared Kelnick, uh, Devin Sweet, uh, Jacob Lopez, uh, Gabby Moreno, and then the then and now Joe Morgan and Ronald Acuna Jr. insert card, and Cedric Mullins to wrap up this pack. Once again, just checking the back. And we are good. All right, halfway point. We have, even though we've pulled some fire, in my opinion, we have yet to hit our auto or our relic. Again, one of them is guaranteed in the pack. Maybe we'll get an autographed relic. I mean, I'll take that. Uh, Noel V. Marte, rookie card for the Reds. Uh, Salvi, Dusty Baker, Astros card from Valdez. Michael Lorenzen, looks like we have a short print coming up. Correa, Brett Beatty, and then Jonah Heim, card number 22 in the checklist. We have a short print of Mr. Jonah Heim. Very, very cool. Once again, we'll just put him off to the side where Mauricio Dubon is. And then George Soriano to finish up this pack. Oops. All right. Let's keep it going. I love how many cards you get. It's, it's exciting. All right. Kyle Bradish, uh, Nolan Sh Shanwell, excuse me, Brian Bayo, Luis Castillo, David Hamilton, Alex Lang, Alec Jacob, uh, Earl Weaver, and then Willie Adamas. Pretty straightforward pack here. Nothing too big. There we go. All right. We're, we're coming back down to earth now, you know? Heritage and now humbling us. Like, all right, you got, you got a lot early. Now we, now we got to get you the base, you know? Start start building your set a little bit. I don't plan on completing this set. I think this will be the, the one and only time I open up a hobby box of Heritage this year. Um, but I'm going to enjoy the heck out of it. New Age Performers insert Rafi Devers. And then Jordan Lawler rookie card. That one will get sleeved. A-S-A-P. He is, he does yet to have a, um, uh, whatchamacallit, I'm totally blanking on the name, it will come back to me, but he's yet to have a rookie card in a, uh, Series 1, Series 2 update type of product, odds are he'll be in Series 2, a flagship, that's the word, he has yet to have a flagship rookie card, thank you for your patience, um, but he is popping up in products outside of flagship, uh, in either base cards or um, insert cards as well. He does have insert rookie cards in flagship, but he doesn't have a proper base card rookie card in flagship uh, just yet. That took us a while, but we got there. I appreciate you all. I see the comments now. Ashley, it's flagship, it's flagship. I know, I know. Give me a moment. All right. We're, this is three more packs uh, to the third, to the second to last stack, the third stack. <gasps> seen my other 2024 card opening videos which i encourage i have yet to pull a ellie de la cruz rookie card and we get him right here fresh off the hot press in this one there we go ellie de wow jordan lawler into ellie de la cruz for back-to-back -back cards that's exciting all right i gotta move somebody here uh, Joey Weimer, we're gonna move you to the side. We're gonna move Luis Robert up. Sorry, Luis, I love you, but you are just a base card right now. And Ellie De La Cruz, come on down. You are the next contestant for a spot on my desk. All right, 1997 MVPs. Uh, Max Scherzer, Edwin Diaz, uh, Kyle Leahy, uh, Sparky Anderson, uh, Paul Goldschmidt, and then a short print of Mr. Luke Weaver for the Yankees. And a 2017 MVP card. Insert card. Not insert card, just a card. 
Ooh, this corner is a little nick here. I think there's just some extra cardboard if the camera's picking it up. That's okay. Nothing too special. All right. Just keep checking. Once again, still on the hunt for either a relic or an auto. Ooh, this pack. This pack feels a little thicker than the others. We might have a relic in here. Aha, we do. We do have our relic. So let's just dive right into it. Tony Gonsolin, Curtis Mead, uh, PCA rookie card, uh, Beto rookie card, stolen base leaders, Asturi Ruiz and Ronald Acuna Jr., Yuri Perez, and Francisco Lindor. Game use memorabilia relic card. We will take it. We will take it. Frankie the Tanky the Lindori. If you know, you know. Nice. Very, very cool. Clubhouse collection relic card. What I really enjoy is how it's game used. If it ever says player worn, odds are it's just like they put the jersey on, took it off, and then, you know, Tops did what they had to do to distribute it. But game used, you get a little extra, like, they properly wore it, if that makes sense. It wasn't like, take it on, take it off kind of a thing. Uh, so this is really, really cool. Always looking for the auto, but honestly, a hit is a hit, and we will gladly take that one. Dane Myers also finishes up this pack. So now we are simply looking for any more photo variations, short prints, all that good stuff. Uh, but odds are we've gotten most anything and everything we want out of this pack. I think when I accidentally uh, bumped into my camera, I made everything crooked. So hopefully it's been okay, this viewing experience for all of you. Nolan Jones, you Darvish, 57 MVPs. Cabrera, Christian Walker, Zach Remillard rookie card. Uh, New Age Performers won Soto, and then uh, Jaime Candelario around out this pack. And no variations or short prints there. All right, we've made it. We're in the final pack of this hobby box. We are in the home stretch. We're already at the 21 minute mark. So hopefully not too much longer to finish up this video. Once again, thank you all so very much if you've watched and you've made it this far. Uh, let me know what you think of everything we've pulled thus far. If you've opened up Topps Heritage, let me know what you've pulled that you've enjoyed. As we get the fastest baseball player to ever live, Yasmani Grandal, short print card, still rocking his White Sox uniform, even though he is now a member of the Pittsburgh Pirates. But we'll take it, we'll take it. We'll put it next to Luis. And then Tuki Toussaint to also finish up this pack. All right, keep it going. This might sound strange, but I am somebody who likes to be organized, and I'm very much looking forward. Every time I open up cards, I always look forward to you know separating the rookies from the veterans, and then organizing them uh, in their appropriate boxes that I store my baseball cards in. That part is almost equally as exciting as opening up all the cards. Call me weird, uh, but I definitely love things clean, neat, and organized and baseball cards and sorting baseball cards just kind of uh, reaffirms that for me. Listen, we're, we're getting really deep in the video. I need talking points. Ooh, this one also feels a little thicker than normal. Yeah, it looks normal in terms of what's contained in this pack. World Series, Corey Seager, Aaron Judge, Stephen Kwan, Henry Davis rookie card, Blake Sable, hey, go pack, Carlos Rodon, shout out DZ Collects, Elias Diaz, final hit and home run. And then Enrique Hernandez. Harmon Kilbro, I was just about to say. All right. I was hoping that Carlos around would be some sort of photo variation out of the respect for Los. All right. Three more packs left, including the one currently in my hands right now. Let's finish strong here. Sandy Alcantara, Cade Marlowe, Colton Cowles, a rookie card. That's a great rookie card. Aloy Jimenez, uh, 1980 MVPs. We got Brett and Schmidt there. Gavin Lux, Owen White. Uh, Mickey Moniak is going to be, and Matt Dearling's going to finish up the pack. Mickey Moniak is going to be one of our short prints. Who is also not a photo variation. <laughs> but maybe these ones are a photo variation. They are not, but we do get a rookie card, Colton Kowser. Uh, if y'all know, I have a cat. Her name is Maleficent, but we call her Moo Moo because she is a little cow. I am here to confirm that Colton Kowser is her favorite baseball player. I'm here all day, everybody. <laughs> Bryce Jarvis, 
Uh, Javi Baez, Kevin Gaussman, uh, Parker Meadows rookie card, Gabby Moreno once again, Gabby Moreno. I'm gonna have to check my stack. We pulled him before. So the other one a little bit different. Adelise Garcia, another short print, and Kyle Tuck. Whoa! This photo goes hard. That's dope of Adelise Garcia. Let's go. Let's set him to the side though. And then let's check the back of these cards just to make sure. We are sure. All right, last pack of magic. Gonna touch the Frank Thomas uh, signature right off of the camera. Hoping for one last anything here. All right. Got Rucker, 2012 MVPs with Posey and uh, Cabrera. Yoan Moncada, White Sox base card. Christian Yelich, Hugh Darvish, Brett Beatty, Alex Lang, Brian Wu. And Lamont Wade Jr. to finish up this pack. And you know we got that last pack magic. Brian Wu, as you can see, is an image variation. Frank Thomas autograph helping us with that last pack magic. Fo one more image variation. But let's see if there's any others joining Wu in this pack. There are not. And let me actually show you all. This is the Frank Thomas a card off to the side here that I have displayed on my desk. Wow, that's a video. That That's a hobby box. That is a hobby box. We have short prints. We have even more short prints to the side right here. The base Luis Robert photo variation. Francisco Lindor is our relic. We have white border Jorge, Jorge Soler, white border Junior Camanero. Rookie card Ellie De La Cruz, numbered 632 out of 999 is Mookie Betts' uh, Chrome card. CJ Abrams photo variation, as well as just a Gunnar Henderson short print. Things you absolutely love to see. Heck of a video, one of my longer ones for card opening, so thank you all so very much. If you've stayed, stayed tuned throughout the entirety of this video, more baseball card openings are coming in the future of this channel. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Take it easy.